So, hello and welcome back to Open TTD, where last time we got our new company underway and called it Definably. I'm never going to be able to say that, so we might rename it again at some point, but anyway, we're not a shit company, as our name says. Um, and we are basically building a plane network thing. Um, and I was wondering why it wasn't moving and then remembered that I hadn't unpaused it. Today we will sort of maybe expand our plane network. Plane network? Do you call it a network if it's planes? Plane service? I don't know, whatever. Uh, because we only have two airports, so that's not really going to make us the mega bucks. Even if I did just see that double our money. Um, but we will get our monorail connected uh, because that's sort of sitting there at the minute, um, not doing anything. So I think I'm going to go straight ahead and start building a station here in Chinbridge. Uh, Chin with two N's because they're posh, so that's how they like to spell it. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to bomb their road um, in order to build our station, because our station is more important. If they wanted their road, then, you know, they should have allowed for our station and built the road around it. So let's see, will I run out of money for doing this? Probably will. We'll start with one line, because otherwise I really will run out of money. I just spent 12 grand on that, I think. Bloody hell. And uh, it's cheaper to sort of just bomb water, because if you uh, dispose of it responsibly, um, then, yeah, you kind of run out of money quickly, because you have to either A, build a bridge over it, or uh, sort of mess around with the terrain a lot, and it ends up that your company goes bankrupt incredibly quickly. So, yeah, won't be doing that. The other thing we need for monorail to work is a depot, otherwise our trains won't be able to uh, get onto the tracks in the first place, and everything will sort of cock up a little bit. Do you also want to add these little intersections in? Um, otherwise the trains, they kind of sort of crash into each other, because they try and go the wrong way and all the rest of it, and you need signals, proper signaling sort of things. Uh, yeah, it's it's complicated, this signal stuff. I think we'll have another station in Buff Fluff. Fluff. Yeah, that. Um, we'll have a station there. Um, and we will just build this bit of the line. Bro, amazing monorail. Uh, I've built that in... Yes, I've built that in the wrong fucking place. Excellent. Let's just correct that and pretend it didn't happen. Um, fudge the company's finance figures to make it look as if everything was fine and that there was definitely no issue there at all. Right, and uh, then we continue with the building of the monorail system. And, oh my god, that's perfect again. Come on. Now, am I a wizard at this game or what? It's like, yeah. You were meant to say yes then, just just in case you didn't get that. Um, you should have said yes then, because if you didn't, then what are you doing? Get out. Go home. Um, yeah. That, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Just sort of think about how amazing that this company is, and then revise your answer. Here's what you should do. Um, <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I said that. Well, we are making money, so I don't really need to worry about spending too much. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Cheeseville's fairly big. Uh, Chinbrulip is fairly big. Buffingly. And I think we'll go back through these. And then... Yeah. Uh, yeah, signals are used a lot. If you don't get the signaling right on a railway, you, um, yeah, you may as well not have bothered. Uh, because you will fairly instantly uh, end up with trains crashing, a low rating, and all the customers running, screaming from the stations, and going and cowering under bus shelters and using a different company's buses. But we are lucky there isn't another company, so they'd get on one of our buses and then we'd drive them off a cliff. We'll have a complicated little loopy bit here, because I feel like building a complicated little loopy bit um, let's see, yeah, so let's have that coming down like that, and then landscaping is that one, and we'll have like a little raised up bit here, uh, watch this go wrong, and me have to start again, oh dear, I can I can tell it's gonna, something is going to happen, anyway, let's get a bridge built um, between these two lovely places, oh, balls, really, 
You can't build a bridge over a railway station. Can we build a bridge there? Yes, we can. Good. And we want it to be a good bridge, so we'll have cantilever steel. Right. Just spent four and a half grand on a bridge. You know, things is going well here. How much did we spend? Oh my god, we spent 300,000 uh, on construction new vehicles last year. In 2015 even, which is in two years' time. Uh, but we still made a good profit of 333,322 Damn you, why were you not £11 more? Then you would have been 333, 333, and it would have looked good. But let's just get a monorail going first, first of all. Because um, otherwise, you know, this this is just not going to work. Uh, oh, a Millennium Z1. Now, that is a cool name. I think I'm going to buy that. Um, and then, yeah, fill it with... Let's have some passenger cars, I think. You can have up to, uh, it's like, 12 cars on a train. Let's get that many for now and then we'll stick a couple of mail cars on the end and there is our amazingly streamlined very long train that is probably gonna crash and break down a lot but you know what can you do you only try and run a legitimate company by spending like 5p and reaping in the profits a bit like Ryanair probably shouldn't say that probably now I'm gonna get shut down for libel Ryanair they're a crap airline they charge you like five million pounds for oxygen in the event of a crash so you know wouldn't fly with them if you value your life we have a lot of mail waiting at that station you know so yeah let's let's hope that things go well they look like they will there's a hundred people waiting now 110 people waiting now that's more subscribers than I have <laughs> uh, but yes um, we have now got our monorail, it's reached all the stations, so every time it goes back and forth now, we should get a return in profit. Let's watch it pull into the station in amazing high definition, uh, 720p right there, uh, and let's just watch it unload with the percentage things. And is it going to make... Yes, there we go, 10 grand, right, that is a one profitable train, it cost us like... 50 grand to place so you know five trips and we're done let's just sort of watch our amazing new train make us money and watch in awe as the people on board die in a fire as it crashes by just going off the line because there's no buffers or whatever they're called let's see how our planes are getting on how many people are waiting holy sh okay more planes how much rating have we got mediocre we need more planes right uh, clone aircraft, you. Yes, go. Right. Make us money. Wow, that's a quick train. 337 kilometers an hour. How fast is the, uh... Tr what I was going to call it a train as well, then. Plane, even. How fast does it go? Let's see. 952 kilometers an hour. Wow, that's a third the speed of a... Uh, the train goes a third the speed of an aircraft. That is quite an achievement, um, if you think about it. Yeah, that, that is one quick train. It's like a bullet train in Japan. Uh, it looks a bit like one too, actually. Except uh, I don't think they're red, and I don't think they're three pixels big. Um, but, you know, that's that's an issue for another day. Um, for now, let's just um, hope that that solves our problem with the passenger waiting times, um, which it doesn't look like it is. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to go right ahead and buy another plane because I am reckless at spending money. Aircraft number five has taken off. It is heading for Apple Pie Airport, um, which is an amazing airport because it has pie in the name and apple, which are two amazing things. Um, apple the... Uh, apple? 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 <laughs> apple the uh, computer company, not the fruit. Apple the fruit is, well, yes. Uh, we won't talk about Apple the fruit. Apple the fruit is a monstrosity that should not have been allowed on this earth. And we're gonna have a transport hub, I think, where all this shit will be taken to. Let's get a hub airport. We will place you there. So then we just sort of have the plan of bringing all of this stuff in to here, um, whether it be by train from far away, or like by, um, oh, actually, this is a good train route down here. Yeah, this is a good, good train route. Right, so what are they? Are they just dead trees, yeah? It's gonna be a fairly long train to carry all of these goods. Um, let's have it having oil. We'll do coal. Um, 
Mm, accepts wood. Goods and iron, okay, right, let's see. Uh, wood, goods and iron. And then we will have uh, a four track. This is this is so gonna go wrong. Two track, right? I can handle two tracks. Any more than two tracks, and no, hell will break loose. I'm hoping this will work. The idea is that we ship all the stuff to uh, the airport uh, with a big hub, and then it goes back out to where it needs to go, and we will make lots and lots and lots of money. Uh, in reality, that probably won't happen. Um, this will probably bankrupt our company, and everything will go to hell uh, and rot. And I'll bomb that too, just for good measure, because uh, I feel like it. Um, yeah. That is that is business for you guys. Just bomb everything, um, and don't spend money, uh, and you'll be fine. Um, except don't do that because the uh, American intelligence services and most of the countries in the world might have a little something or two to say about that. Oh my God, we've had an explosion! Something has gone incredibly wrong with Aircraft Three. It's blown up on the runway at Apple Pie Airport. Apple Pie now hates us, so let's very quickly spend quite a lot of money on an advertising campaign to make sure that we don't lose custom. Let's also clone aircraft number three, because if we didn't do that, we'd then not have enough planes and everything would go wrong. Yes, right. That plane will now lie there for a while, although hopefully not too long, because then things will go very wrong. Um, what was I doing? Oh yes, this. Let's just ignore the uh, fireball that just took place and just continue with building on monorail as if nothing had happened because then the public will think that nothing has happened and will still continue to put faith in our planes and not think we're going to murder them all. Uh, we'll have one of those um, and we will have on it. Let's see what we can pick up. What do we have? We have a slibidibib sawmill um, which takes wood. So we want something that takes wood. Uh, wood. We've got a wood car. Okay, good. Um, what do we have here? Sawmill and an iron ore mine. So again, more wood and iron ore. So yep, yeah, iron ore. Uh, coal. Got coal. We got coal anywhere? Coal car. There we go. We'll have some coal. Uh, we've got oil. Let's have some oil. And what does this take? This requires iron ore. Right, so that is that is this train, um, right there. Yep. Uh, let's just get one more of all of those. So let's get uh, a wood car, uh, an iron ore car, or hopper, um, coal, and oil. Uh, there we go. And then we'll sort of arrange it so it looks sort of nice and pretty. Um, there we go, like that. Done. Um, we made a. Whopping £713,860 last year, and that will be the end of this episode. It's been a year here in business further on, and we're making the big time monies here. We're at £1,109,000 uh, £1 already. Um, so I will see you next time in Open TTD. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>